Hey everyone, what's up? Sam Pro Pro, and I am back with another RPG Maker video. Uh, this is continuing the How to Make a Good RPG series. Now, I seem to have run into the exact same problem other people have had with the uh, is turning Japanese for some reason. Because I had to re-download this and it became Japanese for some reason. Anyway, regardless, um, let me go ahead and go over what this episode is going to be about. This is going to be about the experience curve. Now, when you start off, you can you notice that you, you level up really fast in your game. Um, first, how I got here is, let me show you, and just in case you're brand new, go into the database by pressing F9 or clicking the button. Go into classes, and these are all your classes. You got Warrior, in this case. I just renamed it to Warrior. You can get up all, you got all kinds of stuff. Now, um, if it is Japanese, just rename them to your own liking. You can edit the skills. Uh, I'll go over I'll go over everything in the future, uh, but I'm gonna be getting back into RPG Maker. Anyways, before I become a potato, let's go. So as you can see here, you got L that represents the level, and one, two, three, four, etc., etc. That represents what that value has to be uh, before you level up. Now the where it says level one and fifty, that's not technically true. There, okay, there we go. Two next level. So this is the two next level. Uh, so you need 50 to get to level 2. If you go to total, see right there, that tells you. Because you're going to have to have 50 to get to level 2. Now, you don't want that much, believe it or not. What we're going to do is, we're not only are we going to make this a lot less by dragging the curve down, but we're also going to make it a lot longer to level up. I'll explain how in a moment. So the correction value, which will probably be something else if you have a different version, bring that all the way down to 0. And we're going to do kind of like... 12 here okay, about 16 actually yeah let's go right there then the increase B I'm gonna bring it down about right there well level 99 we're gonna have it like a lot less all right so about right there so level 99 takes like 49,500 right 495,000 so click OK and make sure you do this with all classes as you can see the values here uh, you, you want to change them slightly so that every character doesn't level up like at the exact same time, basically. But uh, if you head on over to enemies, you can see the experience they give you. These ones give you three. So you're going to change that to where small enemies will give you like one. In the currency, you can keep that if you want. Uh, this B, for example, he's going to give us, say, three instead. Uh, this bat, maybe give him, maybe him, let you, blah, 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 let him give you two, et cetera, et cetera. What this will do is, you're only going to be getting like one experience per slime. So if you go to troops, like you go here, you'll only get like two experience for that. And as you can tell, it takes 16 to get um, to level 2. So you would actually have to defeat 16 slimes in order to get to level 2. Or you, you, know, you would have to defeat 8 bats, or not bats, uh, yeah, bats to get to level 2, and so on and so forth. <laughs> so... That makes it a lot, it takes a lot longer to level up, and it also feels a lot more rewarding when you do. So make sure that after you set the experience curve, you're going to want to, you're going to want to do, um, you're going to want to change this. You can do uh, the HP, MP, and all that. How you get here is you double click this thing. Double click on any one of these. Start with max HP. Uh, you, you can go to quick setting A if you want. I like doing a generated curve. Okay, basically what I do is I click one of these. As you can see that tells you how his HP stat will be. I click one of these. Uh, for HP, I usually click A, and I kind of do like a slow increasing. So you start off like gaining a little bit. So you're like, oh, okay, my HP went up a lot, it feels like. But when you actually get to level 99, it's a lot higher. So we're going to do the same thing for MP. MP, I usually use B or C for fighters or warriors because they don't really use too much magic. So I'm going to kind of go a little bit slower for that. As you can see, we got a nice little curve going. Um, attack, I usually have a B or an A. Uh, I'm going to go with A. Let's go with B for this one. And I kind of have it go increase a little bit faster than normal. And, however, with the defense, I usually have like an A, and I have it kind of increase a little slower. So, at one point, your attack is going to be much higher than your defense, but later on, your defense is going to be a lot higher. Uh, so magic for warriors and stuff like that, I usually give a D or a C. I'm going to go with D. I'm going to go have it increase really slowly. But once you start getting up there, your magic is going to really grow. Magic defense, I'm going to give that a C, since his regular defense was slightly higher. 
and have it increase slow. Agility, I usually do a B or a C for this. Uh, I'm gonna do a B, or yeah, or wanna do B or C? I think I did B. Anyways, I'm gonna do B, <laughs> and then I'm gonna make it kind of increase slowly. And the luck, I usually do somewhere around E or D. I'm gonna go with D. I'm gonna have it increase slowly. So right here, we have officially created a balanced class. You're not gonna level up too fast, but make sure you you change the experience rates. See, uh, that should be okay because of the the other one should be okay. But make sure you at least change the slime bat and the bee. Anything else above that? Okay, maybe the spider too. Like maybe give him have him give you five. Wait, what? Yeah, five. And then the rat has a maximum of three hundred, so maybe have him give you like twelve. Uh, or something similar to that, you know, just barely increase how much HP you get per enemy, depending on how many enemies you have. Alrighty. So, like, for example, you can do, so we have a slime here. Then we have, like, a red slime. Uh, the red slime, you can change that by changing the hue. And say the red slime also gives you 1 EXP, but, uh, he gives you slightly more gold. So, like, 9 currency. So you got slime and you got red slime, they both give you different amounts of, um, gold but they give you the same things see like the red slime be slightly more rare or make the red slime have 120 HP so it kinda balances it out so that is basically how you would create a balanced RPG system um, where you're not gonna level up too fast and the skills I gotta go over that in the future too uh, but this part will actually surprisingly not be covered in balancing because it doesn't really have too much to do with balancing it does but I want to actually be able to explain the skills. So when I make this skills video, I'm actually going to completely erase all of the skills. And we're going to make we're going to make our own list of skills. So look forward to that video and I thank you guys for watching.